हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन The US Treasury Department has expressed dissatisfaction with the Central Bank of Iraq's CBI measures to curb the flow of funds to neighboring countries and their proxies. While the United States does not control when Iraq can introduce its currency to the international market, Iraq must align with international standards and regulations to access global markets effectively. Recent developments suggest significant activity in Iraq over the weekend. pointing to a concerted effort to meet a stated goal of completing key financial transitions by December 10th. This date, referred to as Victory Day, carries symbolic and strategic significance. The RAC announced in May that it had cleared its debts to the International Monetary Fund (IMF), with reports from the central bank revealing cash reserves exceeding $10 billion and gold reserves nearing 150 tons. Globally, Countries that successfully free themselves from IMF and World Bank debt burdens are often seen as more adept at managing their domestic affairs. The RAC now plans to increase its share in the IMF by 1.45 trillion dinars, a move aimed at enhancing its voting power within the fund, attracting investments, fostering a favorable business climate, and driving substantial development. However, internal challenges persist. A member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Mohammad Nouri. disclosed that discussions are underway to summon CBI governor Ali Alaq to address the instability of the dollar exchange rate and the dominance of private banks over currency sales the banking infrastructure necessary for potential currency exchanges involves dello machines requiring high speed secured connections emphasizing the complexity of these operations the Iraqi prime minister Sudani reiterated on television that the currency transition should be finalized by December 10 underscoring the precision and deliberation in his messaging which many interpret as signaling imminent developments speculation abounds that by Thursday December 12th a shotgun start could occur with financial codes reportedly locked in and Zurich already involved in preparations in parliament three major laws potentially including the critical hydrocarbon law HCL are under review with legislative sessions extended until December 10th to ensure their passage Article 140 related to disputed territories and real estate provisions in Kirkuk are also being discussed. These developments could signal significant progress in Iraq's economic and political landscape, with many anticipating breakthrough announcements imminently.